I did not. Hi guys, Keto for Real Life people here just now said, you're live. So doing these little YouTube lives is different and the timing schedule of scheduling a live uh, was a little confusing and it wasn't until just a moment ago that I actually looked up what time zone YouTube is in. That being said, today is the day guys. Uh, I am going to show you how to make miracle dough. It is just amazing. It's four ingredient miracle dough. It's so versatile. It's so simple. You're going to fall in love with it. And I'm going to tell y'all something. If you are keto or low carb, this is a game changer. It's going to change the way you do everything. Um, I'm super excited about it. I'm more excited about this recipe than I am bread. And you're going to find out why. So let me say this, if you are new to my YouTube channel, this is your first time popping in, uh, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification button. That way when I do lives or I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Um, let's get started. I have my daughter over here. I don't, have you been on my YouTubes with me? I think Once. you did. Just, yeah, just two weeks ago. So I see people are starting to pop in. Um, this, let me talk to you about ingredients for this. We're going to use so many different ways of cooking today. It's unreal. So for the four ingredient miracle dough, four ingredients, shredded mozzarella cheese, whole psyllium husks, cream cheese, and the magic, lupin flour. It is 100% lupin flour. I buy this um, from a company by the name of Whole Provisions. It is non-GMO, it is organic, it is low on the glycemic index. I have been eating it non-stop for two weeks, no weight gain. My blood ketones are 1.3, my blood sugar is 84. I am in the pocket. This has not affected my blood sugar whatsoever. So I see there are some comments there. I can't see I'm them. I'm getting to them. Ah, my daughter is. I'm over here trying up. to do what I'm doing. She's doing her thing. She's pulling up YouTube Live so that we can keep up with comments or questions or things like that. So I will explain to you before, right before we get started. I'm going to be using some different methods for cooking. I'm going to be doing some frying. I'm going to be doing some air frying, and I'm also going to be doing some oven baking. And I'm only going to make up one batch of this dough and show you a few different applications. I have some fillings ready, some sweet fillings and some savory fillings. And it's just to give you an idea of how versatile, versatile this recipe is. Um, as we go along over the next, I don't know how many months, you're going to get recipes for different things using this miracle dough as a base. I did drop the link for uh, where to purchase it in the drop down and I also dropped the recipe in there so when you're done watching this and you pull up the title it's already there for you. Well, I have to go up and, and a little bit back too please while you're there because uh, we got to be able to see the surface here. Thank you and the do not disturb because I just got a... Hi everybody! Picture. Sorry <laughs> I've been... Bluetooth. Okay there we go. We're plugged in. Alright so there we go guys. There's your... This is Elizabeth. If you've never seen her on here before, this is Hi, my everybody. youngest daughter, youngest child, and she is my keto partner in crime. Keto. All the way up. <laughs> <laughs> I always want to say that. All right, so Hi, let's Dad. get started, guys. Dad's watching. My husband is on YouTube? What? So this is two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. And if you let it get a little room temperature, it makes for mixing easier, but it's not necessary. I think the first time that I came on here two weeks ago, I shared how to make egg rolls and uh, wontons with uh, crab rangoon, the filling. And uh, I had let my cheese and, and sit out for a while, so it was much warmer and it just blended. And somebody freaked out when they tried it themselves. They're like, mine didn't do like yours. It's, it's not a big deal. So, two cups of the mozzarella cheese. We have hi from the UK, hi from Guam. Wow, hello, hello from across this side of the pond. Hello, Nancy. there for me. So we have our cheeses, two tablespoons. And I just scoop some right off the brick and pop it in there. Easy to make, isn't it? 
It's so easy to make. Even if you think you're messing it up, you're not messing it up. It's super forgiving. Forgivable. Well, the other night, I've been making this nonstop for like two weeks. We've tried it every which way you can think of. And uh, can you use psyllium powder? I think you could get away with psyllium powder, but just try going with a half of a tablespoon versus a whole tablespoon, just because it makes a difference on density. Um, Speaking of which, here, I, I should have done the psyllium husk first. Did you start on low carb and then move to keto? You know, I can kind of say I have been low carb before, but then I didn't, and I was Atkins. And uh, I was going to do that, again, because my weight had ballooned all the way back up to 250 pounds, and so I was looking for a low carb group. And in the meantime, uh, I found the word keto. And so I went keto versus low carb. I will tell you though, I, I planned out my journey. I didn't just jump on the keto wagon. I knew I wanted to, so I started cutting my carbs back and then I had my keto start date, which made it a heck of a lot easier. It's just an awesome way to do keto if you've never done it before. You kinda aren't so shocked and go, you don't go through carb addiction withdrawal as hard as you would if you did it. I need to measuring spoons. Oh, um, will you please, what is lupin? Lupin. Okay, so let's talk about the plant. It is a plant. It is a it is a type of legume. It's in the soy and peanut family. But I will tell you, it it is not soy, and it is not peanuts. Uh, allergy disclaimer: If you do have a peanut allergy, you might have a reaction. It's not a guarantee, but that is your beware if you are, have a peanut allergy. Um, it is, for one quarter cup, there are 12 total carbs in a quarter cup. There are 11 grams of fiber. So you get one net carb per uh, quarter cup of lupin flour. I will tell you there is something that is called Ogla, oh, I say it terrible, Ogla, Ogla saccharides. That's how I think you say it. Um, and that's a type of sugar in it, 8%. But those are prebiotic. So this is very prebiotic. It's, it's not inflammatory. Um, there have been studies done in Australia as well as Spain using this product, even in Mexico, where instead of making just plain white bread, they're now blending it with the lupin flour. And people who are using lupin flour blended breads with gluten are getting lower blood sugar, less inflammatory markers or anything like that so I'm happy to say this is very keto friendly in fact uh, very low after carb. using it for a couple weeks we've been playing in the kitchen with it and everything she went ahead and used the keto mojo checked it her blood sugar was whole and she spikes she'll spike with coffee Let coffee me just, spikes me bad. so her blood sugar was sitting at 84 her ketones are uh, 1.3 yep. 1.3 after eating this there's not it's, your body. It's, it's filling. Easy. It's very high in protein. It's very high in fiber, and it's very low in fat. And it is ha, does have prebiotics. So I'm using a half a cup of this for this whole dough recipe, which would be two net carbs for the whole ball of of lupin flour, the whole deal. And then we're gonna disperse it. We're gonna get so many things out of this, guys. You're just uh, gonna be you've amazed. Caught one of our other lives. It's about to go down. It's about to be funny. It's about to happen. It's um, I think I'm done with all of that. Please, and thank you very much. Oh, I got it. Oh, Thanks. I didn't know. I was, I was reading your comments. I'm sorry. You're asking She's me She's actually more than just my I, little assistant. She does so much. It's unreal. What kind of stuff can you eat when dairy makes you stall? I love your bread roll. Thank you so much for that. Oh, you're welcome. So dairy, and you're trying to replace the dairy. Am I understanding that correctly? I dare know, Tina. Let's, yeah. let's do this. We are going to take my hand and put it into the bowl, and I am just going to toss this around and get that cream cheese to kind of blend throughout everything, and then we're going to pop it in the microwave. So if you can't have dairy and it stalls you, me personally, I always say modify or eliminate and just, you know, learn. Dairy. Huh? Can't do dairy. Can't do dairy. Well, then you have your coconut creams, your macadamia nut creams, your almond milks. You can buy a cream of coconut. There's a difference between um, the light stuff that's mostly just water and the really creamy coconut. And it's really thick and uh, fatty and 
you just drain off that little bit of water. You can take that fat and you can blend it into whipped creams. You can make your own half and halves with it. You know, it's an option. I have a friend up in Canada, uh, Colorful Keto with Dory. She has spent a lot of hours really uh, developing some wonderful non-dairy recipes for treats, uh, for creamers, for even for cheeses. She's even, and yogurt. So, um, We'll try to put that link. She has a YouTube uh, channel and she's got all kinds of recipes. So I will hook you up with that. So anyways, I am blending and you do not have to get it into a ball before you put this in here, but you just want to make sure that you blend it. Then we're going to take it into, would you turn that off because we are running? Yeah, I just turned mine off too. Okay, so this is going to go into the microwave for one minute. Now, if your microwave wow. is not a high power microwave, it might take a minute and a half to two minutes. But I find that a minute in my microwave that's like 11 or 1200 watt microwave gets this into just the right, right texture and meltability. We use whole psyllium husks, but it does come in powdered form. Yeah, and if you're gonna use the powder form, uh, use less of it. It's sort of like um, when you something calls for a teaspoon of salt, and you use table salt that's super fine versus a teaspoon of granulated uh, coarse salt. You know, you're going to get a different different texture, different taste. So use a little less of the whole, uh, powdered than you would the whole. Um, I'm also going to get this going. I'm going to get do my Do you have to frame. do it in the microwave? No. Uh, to, to, to get the cheese smell, I would say the microwave is necessary for the first part of the dough. I, I have mean, ne I've never done it any other way. I mean, I haven't. Fa I have not thought of. Uh, I haven't thought of anything to. Sharon Brewer said, "I love this recipe. I make cabbage rolls and crab rangoon, but the dough did not stand up during the cooking like yours did. The dough flopped down. Do you have any ideas why?" I need to know what uh, what method of cooking did you use? Did you bake it or did you fry it? Did you bake it or air fry it? And you just want to give this a couple of turns in the bowl, y'all. And again, see, I have been making this over and over, and it just plops right out of the bowl. And it looks kind of weird. It looks kind of, yes, I will. It looks weird, but watch this. This is the you miracle can see, part. Yeah, you can see little streaks of cream cheese and little shreds of mozzarella, but you, it comes out and it's hot, and you just do this, and it becomes elastic and smooth. And I knead it just a couple of times just to make sure it's all incorporated and it gets a little hot but it's not going to scald you or anything like that so and then there we have it, this beautiful smooth bowl ball of dough a ball, a ball of dough a double or batch, right? One. no this is just a single I you can been wanting her to double this guys well guys we do so well here i mean we really do we make so much stuff and this is enough to overfill us for real just so you know this is just coconut oil going into a skillet because we're, we're going to show you some multiple applications here. All right, so now you have miracle dough. That's all there is to it. What are we going to start um, with? We'll start with the savory. Savory, we'll start with savory because you always eat savory first. Right, right. Savory right. first. So I'm going to make a couple of little meat pies and I'm going to pinch off like a, oh, I don't know, maybe a three or four inch piece of dough and I'm going to roll it out. Set that there. And I'm just going to pat it flat. And you're going to see. Now, I use a heavy rolling pin for this, guys. It's marble. My daughter, Daniele, bought it for me. And uh, I'm going to roll it till it's about an eighth of an inch. Okay, I hear you. That I'm just heating up my air fryer. It's about an eighth of an inch thin, thick. Okay, now I will say this, if yours doesn't hold up, if you're not getting your dough nice and thin, you're not going to get the same textures, you're not going to get the same crispiness. It, it's kind of like, it just, yeah. It's, it's not bad true, though. It's not bad. Because we made pretzels. We made soft pretzels with this. We're going to make a couple today too. Yes. So here we go. I've got, in the, I've got it rolled thin enough to, uh, to do the deed here. And you can use a cookie cutter. This is a big four inch cookie cutter. I've got the ruffle end and I have got the serrated. She makes baby meat pies? 
I like baby meat pies. She's but, been doing everything baby, micro. She keeps saying, I'm doing micro. But guys, this is so easy micro, to Micro, macros, ah. my, micro macros, yes. But see, we've got little rounds here. Um, you could definitely use a bigger cutter because you can do this, you can roll it out just right, like it is right now and cut this and you can make tortillas. You can add a little corn extract, which I have done to this dough. I've added corn like extract that. and made corn tortillas with it. Uh, we've made corn chips. We've made uh, Dorito style things with it. We've it's made churros. We have made crab rangoon. We have made, oh my gosh, uh, flat pizzas or like um, thin crust Cri pizzas. Thin and crispies. Yes. We have. I'm like, oh. We have been eating here, y'all. That's what we've been doing, yeah. eating keto. Okay, so I've got four here. And then, you know what? With the scrap dough, guys. <laughs> Y'all watch her. This is my disclaimer. The scrap dough. This is where it got funny last time. She'd be like, would you save this for later now, honey? You just, just save it. this dough for later. Don't you throw the scraps away. I love it. Because you can reuse it until there's nothing left. That's what. It should be like later. It'll be a triangle left. She'll be like, oh my gosh. And then she'll microwave it. <laughs> you waste not, you want not. Uh, That's what I gotta say about that, okay? Yeah. Alright, so look at me having a little thing here with spoons. I know, I, I know, I'm like, what? Okay, so I'm gonna it? start. Well, I've there got my know. air fryer open, so I'm thinking I might fry one and I might put one in the air fryer. What do you think? I think that you should air fry them just because if you pre cook the dough, then it works better when you try it. I don't know. Try it. We'll try oh, yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let's do the air fryer. There is, when you're putting heavier stuff inside this dough, it's easier to kind of like throw it in the oven and just like let it bake for just a little bit just to make it a little denser and then fry it. You then could add done. a drop of gravy to this if you wanted to, but I just put like just a little bite, depending on how big you make these. Now, you could do everything on a much bigger scale. I'm doing everything on a much smaller scale. And I even have a little corn carrot to press this. What do you think about adding keto chow with it? Uh, keto chow. He ordered. I ordered my flour. What do you think about adding keto chow to it? Well, I don't think I would be adding keto chow to the dough itself. I think that you could take that keto chow and make you some wonderful mousse or pudding or filling, and you could definitely. Uh, I tried that. I prefer to just use my fingers. I've decided my fingers are warmer than the fork. <laughs> It, yeah. There you go. Look at that, though. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You've got little meat pies. I haven't tried to boil these yet, but whether it's pierogies, pot stickers, empanadas, whatever you want, this is this is what you get. And you can definitely put these down in your uh, air fryer. We bake them in the oven. I have not tried to fry them because I just have a skillet. I have a feeling though that a deep fryer, like if I got a big pot out, and I'm gonna have to try it one day. Sinking. Yeah, with a basket might really work out well. So just a little teaspoon of meat, and I, Ooh, because I'm making, hot. oh, let me bring it all the way down. Let's turn it off. They have snickerdoodle flavor. <laughs> they do. Chow. I've had the snickerdoodle. I have tried so many of their products, their flavors. Um, my gosh, the, the toffee flavor is their newest sweet flavor that I fell in love with when I was in Denver. It was absolutely delicious. I love their salted caramel. Um, their chicken, if you haven't tried the chicken, awesome. I mean, I'm not doing a commercial for Keto Chow or anything, but I really do love their products. And their new uh, beef base to make other beef things with, as well as their tomato basil, taco soup. I mean, they're, they're, they're on it, doggone it. Oh, you know, we were talking about what we're going to make, right? So two of them should be fried, and then I should get out that double boiler. So well, we we're going to... You yeah. could try over there. That's what I was going to. Well, that's what I was going to. Hidden, y'all, because we crash and burn together right here in this area. Okay, so I'm going to just pop two of these in and get them going and just keep working. And I'm going to put these in here for about mm, seven minutes. And I'm using the temperature on my air fryer is at 350. Sorry, baby. And then we're going to go down to seven minutes on the timer and just hit start and let it go. All right. Let it go. Now I'm going to try something I haven't done because I have a theory in my mind and I'm going to use two of these little guys. Um, should we do it in pie form? For what? For the blueberries. I say you use one for the pie form, let me use one for the mustard. Okay, here, why don't you have those and play with those? Thank you so much. She just gave me my own dough, y'all. 
Where did my little saucers go? I moved them because my butt was on that chair. Yeah, so I'm going to use this little saucer here, and I'm going to nuke this other little piece up, and we're going to make some other things really quick. Just like I said, I, set, I push the 10-second button on this, and I probably let it go five to seven seconds, and then I pull it out. And... Uh, because it hardens because it's cheese, but when you heat it up, it's all soft and pliable again. That's why I said don't get rid of your dough because you can just reheat it and re-roll it and reuse it. Okay. Yes, yeah. reheat, recycle. Yes. So I am going to use this, and I think I'm going to go ahead and fry some of these up for you. Now I will tell you another thing that you can do with this dough, and they taste just like funnel cakes. What? I know. Did you? Uh, did somebody just shout? I think I heard somebody was like, oh my god, funnel cakes, like, you know? Yeah. Yes, you can. Because, well, you can uh, slightly, like, there's two seconds left on there. So what you can do with this dough, if you were into, like, making all kinds of poofy things, while you're mixing it, you can add about a teaspoon of baking powder. Say, for instance, you were just, uh, Wanting crispy crackers, you can leave it as is. It, it's really up to you. Again, we get this at about an eighth of an inch thick. And I'm gonna hit this again. I go back and forth with this thing. Right there. And I'm just gonna use a knife to cut some shapes up for y'all. So on the cracker chip room, you have the option of air frying, baking, or frying. Um, and I've even got people on Facebook now posting pictures of some of the things they've made. I've seen uh, meat pie. I've seen chips that have been fried, and they looked wonderful. I've seen baked. They looked great. So uh, you choose what you want. You get really crispy. Now, I'm using coconut oil. It's wonderful for frying. It's got that, you know how shortening is? Shortening just kind of does things to crispy breaded things like fried chicken and pies and deep fried things. Well, it does it to this too. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to actually just make some shapes here. See how easy that is? It just is so forgivable. So easy to work with. I'm going to make some chips real quick. Okay. Just while we're waiting on the meat pies. And another thing that I have done, you guys, that is really, really fun and tasty is, um, I've taken these little rounds that I've made and I've turned my little mini muffin pan upside down and I put the dough on every other one and just let it bake and what it does is it makes little cups, little hard crispy cups that you can fill. You can fill them with whatever custard, dessert, filling you want and that's where you can play with some keto chow stuff or you can fill it and make little shepherd's pies, taco things, whatever you want. Now, I don't have to dock this. I don't have to do anything with it. All I have to do is just lay it in the oil and it just starts crisping up right away. And it, you just watch it. When the edges get golden, you uh, grab it with your tongs and flip it and they're poofing. They're just poofing right away. So give it just a little. They float around. Now, I've tried to do taquitos, raw taquitos, and it wasn't so great. It was just too heavy, sat, stuck to the pan, the cheese melted, it broke apart. But if you take and make some tortillas with this and you just partially bake them, these two stuck together, um, if you just partially bake them, then they're solid enough that you can roll them up. We made taquitos. They were fantastic for dipping and putting in guacamole they and munching. Did they hold up in I have not had the opportunity to try soup, but it, I would think that you're going to get a nice little crunch. It would be like adding croutons on top of soup. You know, it will absorb, and then you're going to lose your crunch. This is the true test. This is the true test. Here we go. She's going to try to do some double boiling. This is your, these are your chips. When it comes out, you can immediately season them with whatever you like, uh, salt, Taco seasoning. Baby, would you hand me the taco seasoning? Yeah. They are really good. This thing gets, at 300 it gets too cool, at 350 it gets too hot. I have to 
I love this brand of taco seasoning. It's at our local grocers. It's Taco E Moss. It's a sugar-free uh, taco seasoning mix that you can use by sprinkle or by the tablespoonful. See here? This is what we're getting. Now these are light, airy, and crispy. When you let them cool down, they really crisp up and crunch up. Mmm, so good. I love that first bite when I'm showing you guys something because it is just it hits my tongue like, oh, bam, baby. It's so good. So, so good. I'm going to turn that off again real quick because we're going to keep on going. Oh, she's over there working on it. What? It's not scary. Again, save your scraps. <laughs> now, I want to go a little bit bigger. Those are chips. You can do them that way. You can make them with a little baking powder in the dough and make them really puffy. Or they still have a little crisp and puff without the, the baking powder. It's totally up to you. Um, you can season those. I have sprinkled cinnamon and sweetener over the top of them. That's when they taste like funnel cake or churro. Um, I haven't tried yet to just like roll it out and make little squigglies with it. The dough needs to be bigger to like to, to grasp it. What do you think? Uh, well, because it's going to soften a little bit. Is that a steamed? Yeah. You steamed the dough? I steamed it. Okay. I didn't show y'all. It's not pretty. I steamed it. I like that. I like that a lot. It's almost like a cross between cheese and pasta. Like well, I tried to steam it, and I didn't show y'all, like, because it was it was kind of coming in. I needed a bigger piece of dough. Okay. Um, saucer, please, right behind you with the chips on it. So our two little meat pies are done. They're beautiful. I adore the air fryer. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Beautiful, guys. This is where, this is my favorite part, is the getting to eat it. Getting to taste it. Or you want to take it around because you're closer over there. And you can even use these tongs. They're hot, baby. Look at that. They're sealed. They're beautiful. Hot. You, like I said, you can put whatever you want into these hot. beautiful little pies. You can make them bigger as well. Um, yes! <laughs> Yes, I, I kid you not. Now, I've done the egg rolls. We do have, uh, you can make them into triangles or squares, wonton wrapper size, or the bigger squares. Huh, or, like, no. I told I, you. I, 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 I walk you have to let them like, cool down, because even when they're hot. Like, that is so good. Okay, there is a brand. It's called Don Julio's. It's the seasoned tortilla chips. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's so good. You could do I, Italian seasoning, herb, rosemary, garlic, sea salt, black pepper. You figure out whichever floats your boat flavor-wise. So good. And you've got this. You could even do it like a little bit of the, the Memphis or barbecue rub for a barbecue style chip. I mean, that's a great idea. I know, it just came into my I head. I know, because these great ideas come into your head when you're talking. To, whenever she's talking to y'all, y'all don't realize how much she you help her. You it's do. Like, your mind uses how many carbs and how many chip servings. All right, can I tell y'all this? I don't know. I I don't count macros. I should. I am a, I what they call a keto Nazi. I'm really strict keto on myself besides my Diet Coke. Like, I freak out. Like, she'll purposely mess with me and be like, you know, this got like 15 carbs. And I just look at her like, but there's not that many carbs. I'm not having any issues. No blow, no weight gain, y'all. Like, it, I, okay, here's Put the thing. Put it in your macro counter. If you stop and think of it this way, I took one of these, um, one single batch of Miracle Dough, and we made eight tortillas. So yes. I did do that in my carb manager, and I did put the recipe in. So for eight tortillas, okay, it was one net carb per tortilla. So stop and think of it that way. So if you were to take a tortilla they size, were big. like cut them into chips, then you could know that that amount would equal one net carb. Think about it. Two carbs. Two carbs, and you're probably going to have meat in your tortilla and some vegetables that aren't going to be very many carbs. So you're getting two big old giant tacos for two net carbs versus going and getting flour tortillas at the store. And what, have six carbs, six net carbs or three net carbs per tortilla? 
Oh, okay. plus the gluten and all the other stuff that comes with it. Don't worry, you don't. Don't. All right, are we gonna do it? Are we gonna taste it? Oh, it's, it's gonna be. Why so are you gonna take the one in my hand? I'll take the better one. I, I got the good deal. To me. I got the good deal. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, queso. <laughs> Look, girls. She made guys. I don't know who got who was on her. Oh, so good. We could have put cheese in them, but we didn't need to because. And that's so cute. Mm, I need to heat this up. I made some queso real quick before this started. I love it. Like, you know what? You could almost take them, cook them like this, and then put them in the double broiler and let them go like sticky things. I don't think so. I think ah. it's soggy. But this is delicious. This is super yummy. Super, super yummy. I, I'm telling you. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to roll. Oh, I don't want cheese on my board. Can I set that there? Thank Why you. not? Thanks. Appreciate it. That so, wasn't it. She didn't want that answer. She was going to do it. She kind of knows me. So I'm going to take this dough right now and I'm going to start rolling again. Do you do pretzels or what? I'm thinking we're going to do a pretzel. And what we just need to do, how did we do it last time? We just took a piece and strip and rolled it and folded it and all that. Huh? Yeah, you just took a this. I did. And you just went. Bleep, 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 bleep. Okay. Did you got what is in the microwave? Dying right now? It's not dying. The microwave is powerful, y'all. It's dead. Whatever it be. It's not dead, I tell you. Like this. Oh, this is so good that I, I just can't mess. I'm going to use it for something else. I'm, I'm not making it. Because it's round, y'all. She's doing it because it's round here. Oh, what is it? It's got a very hot bowl. I need to heat up just a little bit so we can roll it out into a pretzel. Okay. Um, you can. Ow! It's, I ate all my meat pie. Well, why would you go and do that? Well, because I was hungry, oh, y'all. I'll use my meat pie to stir up my queso. Oh, gosh. She's going to burn herself. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, you want to bite? <laughs> Hot. I'm going to get a bite. That's so good. Mmm. Tasty? Mmm. Yeah. All right. That's so good. Oh, I'll pause it here. I think I got another one. What are you going to make with this? Look. I'm thinking this is, we're getting ready to get into some, um, pie. 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 Like, traditional blueberry pie? Like, cream cheese? Like, some berry pie would be so delicious. But like, with a glaze or what? Yeah, something like that. Oh. All right, this is just a little ball of dough. You don't have to roll it out. You just get it warm so that it's pliable, and you just use your hands. Roll it. And it's I, like playing with Play-Doh when you're a kid. It is. I I, I should probably make, what, two? No, and I can I'll get it on the door. Because that's going to take more dough than we need. Yeah. And I'll go ahead and get it in the... Well, this is going to be kind of big. Well, that's cool. We'll split it down the middle. Me and you, we the same. Me and you, we share everything. We do. <laughs> well, you know. Not everything. Almost. You know, we don't share our men. That would be kind of sick. Ah. I can't even believe you said that. We're mother and daughter. So <laughs> I know. That was so funny. Okay. So now we do this whole thing here. Wait, there we go. Whoop. I got a little, little thing there. So you just roll it up. It's probably about, oh, a half inch. And then, again, you can just pop this. No, in. what are we doing in there? We're going to do it in there? I was going to put it in All here. All right, do it. Let's do it. It's so much quicker. I was thinking oven because the oven made it spongy. We'll see. This is a new experiment. It really is because we haven't used the air fryer for everything. So I'm going to go six on this one instead of... Seven. We're not going to keep eating everything as we make it. That way we can have a like a <laughs> So she says, as soon as it pops out, she wants a bite. That's know, all there is to it. There's, there's a chip. All right, I have a little pan here. A little veggie pan. Oh, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Mm. Now, somebody mentioned to me the other day and said, hey, what about cobbler? Yes? A cobbler. Cobbler. What do you think of cobbler? cobbler so basically what I can do is and this I'm just shaping it so there she can go. cut it so that I can cut it I'll hold her roll <laughs> hold my roll baby ha. just tell me how long darling <laughs> oh you got it long <laughs> you love me long time forever oh Ooh. my goodness there she go she got it 
I got it. I got it. I wanted to the spot. Hey, and then use the other stuff for water. Don't throw away your scrap. Don't do it. Yeah, you can. There we go. So, what we can do here now is I have a little casserole dish, and I'm sure that we can take this and make three to four servings. Now, I want to caution you about berries, y'all. Excuse me. Sorry. Bless you. We can have... We can have berries, but a half a cup per serving, once one a time day. a day. You don't want to overdo it. I have one cup of blueberries. In, well, no, I lie. I put one pint of blueberries in here, which was about one and a half cups. So I cooked this down. I used a little bit of whole blueberries, fresh from the store. <laughs> um, a half a cup of water, a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum, and three tablespoons of all yellow sweetener. And I just let it cook and reduce and thicken. And then I chilled it in the fridge. So you can see it is nice and thick and gooey. So I am going to just pop. I wish I had a smaller one because I would make this smaller. Smaller than this. You think that would work? Metal. Eh, let's try that because I don't want to waste all this. I want to do a couple of other little things. Well, we can still see. I can use that for this. I'm going to put like half in there. Just a little layer. Something we can share. We can put a little bit of these blueberries down in here. I'm sure we could work on a pie crust eventually as well. I'm already working on it. So we've got some blueberry here. Are you trying to lattice me up? You going to lattice? Yep. Okay, you lattice it. And we'll do that. We're going to sprinkle a little allulose over the top of that for a little sweetness on the crust. Or we might just use a little glaze. In the meantime, I'm going to take one of these little circles, guys. I'm going to grab me another little wild fork here with my berries. I'm going to attempt this. There it is. And I am going to try just to see what we get as far as a pie goes. Again, these are little. You can make them bigger if you so desire. I am just going to fold it over again and press these down. And it can get a little bit cool so the dough doesn't want to stick, but just impose your will upon it. I got a little leak of blueberry right on the edge. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Pick it up and pinch. And now we have little pockets of blueberry filling. Um, let's do and see if I can get one I more out of this. Failing at this little lattice. Oh, we do have one more. The other thing that I have here is a little bit of cream cheese with sweetener. That's all it is. Uh, cream cheese sweetener and a, just a titch of lemon juice. I did not even add vanilla to this. I'm just going to take a little and I let it cool down because you don't want it to be all hot you or anything. Hmm? What goes on top of this? Just sprinkle a little sweetener. Just a little. So you just, again, want a little ball of this, and we could make this into uh, a little cream cheese, like a cheese Danish filling. And just press them together. You could bake them. I use the oven temperature on the oven is 425. We have to get too. Yeah, we're going to. I'm going to get that dough going. 43 people watching. Yay! Oh, good. Okay, so there we go. We've got some cream cheese filling. There we go. And we're going to take... She's all, check that pretzel. Check it. I know, I'm so bossy. It has two minutes, it shows. Okay, never mind. So you did one with the cream cheese, one with blueberry? Yes. Yes, I did. And I think it's going to be really good. Now then, guys. So we can do an egg roll, and I'm just going to take my scrap dough and make yeah, scraps. I love scraps. You gotta love the scraps. And pop it back in the microwave. Now I will say this, guys. This gets a little lengthy because I'm showing you so many applications for this miracle dough. Okay. Generally speaking, it does not take me this long. I make the miracle dough, I make with the miracle dough what I want with it. So if I want tortillas, I make a batch of tortillas. If I want chips, I make chips. You know, it's not a, a huge long process. What I'm just trying to show you is what is miracle dough. I'm trying to show you how many ways you can apply it. And I'm just doing a few applications. So 
it, it doesn't take a whole long time to do these. Oh my goodness, I like this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot better, I think, because it's poofier. There we go. Oh, look. We have pretzels, soft pretzels, y'all. It's, it's, I don't know where my plate went. Yeah, we got chips and stuff on it. They're so tasty. And then we can dip it in cheese or mustard. Oh, let's see, that didn't work. I'll hold it. It's a pretzel. Soft pretzels, anybody? Oh, now do me a favor, share this, this all over the place. Like, I want to, look, it's spongy on the inside like a soft pretzel. Texturally, I'm telling you, they are delicious. All right. And I think that we could add the baking powder to that uh, as well to get it even poofier. But that's just with four ingredients. That's just I mean, on its own. Mom. Hmm. Is it delicious? Gosh, it's so good. I know. I, can, I was the one who said we're not going to eat everything. And I'm like, she knew I told me. you. I told you. That felt good. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... I've got this rolled, and it's a little thick on this side, and it's a little cool. So if it gets a little cool on you, you can either force it like I'm doing with a really super heavy pin, or just pop it in the microwave for a second. But we're gonna take some of this meat filling. It's, it's meat, it's ground pork, it is um, a little bit of cabbage, it's a little bit of celery, it's some chili paste, all kinds of good stuff. Chinese five spice, and we're just gonna roll it, and roll it, and we'll remove that little piece right there. And I'm really just making one because we're going to be wrapping this yeah. up. I think we're once we pull dessert, we're going to be ready. We're done with it. Mm-hmm. And then we'll still have stuff to play with. Guys, you can make chimichangas, enchiladas. Well, I mean, I, to think about all the ways you could do this. If you were making tortillas and you just cook them just enough so that they get the little specks on them, pull them out, they're soft, they're pliable, P fill it with your meat filling, fill it with your cheese, roll them, put your enchilada sauce on, put your cheese on. Bam, you've got a pan of true enchiladas. It's not enchilada in a bowl. It's not egg roll in a bowl. It's not any of those things. All right, so we've got fruit and cream cream cheese. And then we have just an egg roll style or a chimichanga, however you want to. We have a pretzel. We have a pretzel. pretzel. And we are going back in here at 350. Uh, 350 for seven minutes. Seven's the lucky number. Seven is the number on your air fryer. It works great. Um, I could, I could have, I could take this dough and just do one giant one of these. Mmm. Like so good. So good. Look, I still have this much dough left for tortillas, for wraps, for just all kinds of things. What do we got going on here? Looks good. Um. Adding baking powder would make a fluffier bagel instead of fat head dough, right? Oh gosh, y'all. Yeah, yeah I, would you know, you notice I didn't have to put parchment paper down on the cutting board. I didn't have to get my hands wet. It doesn't fall apart. Pretzel came out of the air fryer. Out of the air fryer, but we baked one in the oven the other, a um, couple days ago and it was just great. Do you only use all you list now for your sweetener for everything? Pretty much. Um, I still have some monk fruit. I still have some pure. And I do use powdered erythritol. And I do have super gold for the sweetener for brown. I bought the flour, but it's carb heavy. Where can I find the recipe for the wonton you made a few weeks ago? It's on my YouTube channel. Right before this, my last upload was the wontons. It's right there. Um, it's really simple. Really, basically, all it is is ground pork and cabbage. Have you tried to test if the flour lives up to the claims and take sugar readings with the monitor? Yes, yes I have. Yes, I have done that, and it passed with flying colors. Uh, my ketones are 1.3. My blood sugar is 84. Right where I normally sit, I did not have any uh, interruptions by eating this. So it's been great. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. I didn't mean to just walk away. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes, she did. No, I didn't. I was standing there holding on to I was like, I had been squeezing that dough, and the oil from the cheese comes out all over my hands, and I was just like, 
I can't take it. <laughs> I have to wash my hands. But yes, I did. I actually posted the results of my uh, blood glucose and ketone readings on Facebook uh, yesterday, I believe. So it's posted there. Um, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't. We're out of the little sticky things. I got the last of it yesterday, and uh, she, she's like, no, I can't, I, I, I can't. I said, no. Well, no, you were out. I used a safety pin. Yeah, I'm not doing that, y'all. That's that's keto AF, I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, um, Where are we at on that? Bubbling. Bubbling? So, we're just going to chit-chat. I'm going to answer questions now for the last little countdown and see if there's anything I can answer. I will tell you this dough as well. You can make this up. Like, I didn't use this. You have 130. You could take this dough right now, and if you're not going to use all of it, just wrap it in some plastic wrap, stick it in your refrigerator, you pull it out, you nuke it, you roll it, and you can keep on going. Now, I have not tried to freeze it, but I have doubled the recipe with no problem. We did it for uh, Memorial Weekend. And I, let me tell you, I did a double batch. That's a lot of dough. But we had nine grandchildren, plus all the moms and the dads and the grandmas and the grandpas here and aunts and uncles and so it was just going as fast as as i was taking them out they were eating them up the grandkids were just loving them so very kid friendly very kid friendly um classes you're so good thank you so now I'm going to take a look and see as we wait down to it we are down to the last four minutes and we're going to do some ants uh, Q&A. Let's see. What's your favorite brown sugar? It is the sucre and gold. Will you no longer be making your other bread fathead dough recipe anymore, switching to the miracle dough for all those recipes? Pretty much. You know, let me tell you, almond flour is, I have found, and this was probably what got me started on this quest for lupin flour. <clears throat> I, I was telling my daughter, I said, I believe that um, I'm starting to react to the almond flour because every single time I ate it, um, I started getting swollen. I was getting inflamed. I was feeling achy a little bit. Now, if it was almond flour pancakes, it would mess with me. If it was one piece of bread, it wouldn't. Um, but it was just, it's one of those things. So I thought I need, I need to be looking for another alternative besides just almond flour. I will still make my nutritional yeast bread. And heck, there's going to be times I just make fathead pizza crust because everybody loves that. It's not my recipe, but everybody loves it. Thanks. I was just giving you a drink of mine, but you were talking. Mm-hmm. It was cold. I figured you were parched. Oh, it's so yummy. It is Told y'all we share. So tasty. Oh, we can make a Coke last for three days. We'll take one 20-ounce bottle of Coke and... Put it in the fridge. Take a drink. We share. Put it in the fridge. We just, just, we just take drinks with stuff we eat, because we drink water all day long. But when we're eating, we want something to drink. How much water have you drank today? I've had about... Including these? No. 60 ounces. I'm a little low. I'm at, water. hold on, 32, 32, 60, 90. 90. See, I usually drink about 90, 90 ounces, ounces of, water. of water. Yeah, um, I got busy on the computer and phone call conferences today. Uh, thank you, Jody. You know what? Let's see. I bought the flour, but carb heavy. Where can I find the recipe for wontons? Uh, is this a Dick Mike Smith? Pick that up for just a second. Okay. Where's my ball? There it is. Oh, with a chip in it. I keep finding stuff. You keep using up my, my the thing. It's not me. She keeps adding stuff in it and then oh, blames so me for it. Can you hear that crunch? Yeah, you can probably uh, hear that crunch. Okay, let's see. We are down to one minute. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. I want the ninja. Can you make keto bagels? I'm thinking we can. I'm thinking we're going to keep on playing with this. This has been in development for two, well, so really just over two weeks. Just over two weeks we've been playing with this and, and thinking of all the applications. And so I'm going to have a section, a page on my website that's just going to have Miracle Dough and Miracle Dough recipes because it'll, it'll start a recipe with like, for instance, little uh, fruit pies, one recipe, Miracle Dough. <laughs> and I'll have the recipe for the fruit pie, the recipe for the wontons, the recipe for the Sorry. crab rangoon, all the different things that we can do. Mm. Yes. Oh, here we go. Oh, 
so beautiful again. I love, love, love it. Okay, so this, you guys, ah, barely. I love the air fryer because it does not stick. Look at this. This is just beautiful. Oh, you can hear that. That clink, clink. Meat pie, golden. I said meat pie, more like an egg roll. Chimichanga, however you want to. And then a blueberry pie and a cream cheese. And it stayed in there. And it did. Well, this one right here just split a little when I pulled it out. But I'm going to take that and set it there to cool down. And I have made up just the. Uh, where did you go? Oh, it's right here. The blueberry one's so dark. I am so excited about this, y'all. I should not be as excited as I am on the inside right now. Yes, we do love to make our sweet stuff, don't we? We don't eat tons of it, but we I love it. So this is just a little powdered erythritol and just a little bit of the almond milk. And all I did was just make it a thin glaze because I am going to just drizzle glaze for a little sweetness. Because the inside filling has got a little bit of sweetness on it. And then the, the dough itself is not, but I think this little bit of glaze, and you can wait till they're absolutely cool, then your glaze will set up better, but we're not waiting. You know, it's kind of like buying those little 99 cent things at Walmart when you're going through the aisle and you're like, all right, mm -hmm. fruit pie. Yes. Fruit pie. And I'm going to bring this fork back over here. Yeah, well, Because I'm... it's hot. Because it's hot. And I'm going to cut this right here in half with a nice crisp show you guys. Tell me I can't do this real quick. Oh, that's beautiful. So there is your like little roll up, whether you make it a chimichanga or, or whatever. whatever you want. It is, I mean, it's, it's so crispy, crunchy. All right. Well done. Um, You're done. Don't you do it. I'm not doing it. I want it. I want to do it. I want to eat this. I want a cheese Danish so bad I can't see straight. I am going to. This is like a little cheese pie Danish, but I could definitely have one or two of those in the morning with my cup of coffee if I wasn't fasting. <laughs> but you know, again, I always tell everybody eat clean. Eat clean five days a week. Eat whole foods. Eat do you know? Do the whole proteins, the nice, good, healthy fats. Eat some veg. You know, enjoy one or two days a week where you just enjoy fun foods like, like cobbler, <laughs> cobbler, or little meat or fruit pies or pizza or whatever. But I will say this: I have been eating this stuff over the last two weeks nonstop. No weight gain. Okay, look, I've been eating it. No weight gain. <laughs> She eats, she eats, she eats so much more than me too. And look how thin she is. I eat a lot. Oh gosh, that's so nice. I mean, it yeah. breaks right down. You're gonna have to kind of cut it. And I'm sure we could, we, we're just gonna have fun with this, guys. I'm gonna cut this so that it comes out in a little. And honestly, you guys, what I did just now, I turned it on the broiler, popped it in there, and I just spun it in there while the broiler was on. And look, it's, it's dough on the top. I will tell you, there will be future. Oh, it's so hot. I'm not doing that. I'm going to. Well, yeah, I am. You don't burn yourself. Okay. I do it every time. Okay, we're watching here. We're watching. Huh. <laughs> yeah, are you happy? I'm very happy. You know why? Because well, you've only been keto, what, what, three, four months now? Yeah. And you're still enjoying it. Look at the joy. I've been 18 months. I'm like, I can't wait. It's hot. Blah, blah. Rebel ice cream. Blah, blah. Rebel ice cream. Blah. Vanilla. Chocolate. Oh! It touched the bottom of my chin! The pan! I blew! You burned me! Ding! <laughs> it didn't really... It was just shocking. She's done. <laughs> I didn't even okay. mean to. I'll do it this way. I don't burn myself. Okay, it's hot. <laughs> That's hot. Mm. Out of this world. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Did I get your chin? Let me see. Yeah, you did it right there. Right there. I'm sorry. Okay. Now, oh, I just dropped that right into that sweetener. <laughs> this is where it gets crazy. Look at the beautifulness of that. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to like that. We're getting crazy now. we got to stop. I'm not doing it. 
we have got to stop. I want you to see that beautiful glaze, guys. Oh, living right. by Rebel hasn't been so good. I've only ever had Rebel once, and it's so delicious. All right, are we ready? I've got the cheese one. You've got. I've the got the blueberry. blueberry. You want half, half? Mm-hmm. Oh, Y'all wish you were right here, right now. I know. Mm. Wow, that's like being at the bakery. That's like getting a blueberry donut in the morning from the donut shop. Mm. Guys, this has been absolutely the best. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm so happy. Share, share, share. <laughs> Tag your friends. Do me that favor because. If you're low carb or keto and you've been missing, you know, things like pies and crispy, crunchy crackers and chips and tortillas and enchiladas and chimichangas and wontons and egg rolls and pies and cobblers, bagels and pretzels, share this. It's, it is a true game changer. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, I'll share the link for the air fryer. I've already got a link for the Miracle Flour. Make sure when you buy Miracle Flour, you buy 100% lupin flour, okay? Some stores up north in the Walmart area are selling lupin flour blend, and it's got all kinds of non-keto flours in it. So remember, guys, fats first, moderate protein, low carb, and get, get you some. some. It doesn't end like the other ones. Uh, well, I'm seeing <laughs> that.